affordable neighborhood club that's close to home so you can get fit wherever you want it's always open so you can get fit whenever you want and it's got a comfortable friendly atmosphere so you can get fit however you want really snap fitness a good fit Did you ever run an event that just didn't go well? How about some marketing campaign that sounded great on paper but fizzled? What if I told you there was a company that could actually make your business dreams come true? GoTime Promotions can do anything your business could possibly need in the way of advertising. GoTime can set up mass media marketing campaigns, you know, radio, TV, print, as well as organize small and large scale events. So if you're thinking, hey, I wonder if they can do stuff for me, yes, yes we can. And here we go. This is the opening match right here at Aftermath. What is that that Manchild's wearing? That's his brand new Manchild t-shirt. Scary oh. thing is it looks just like him. That's adorable. Playtime's over, folks. What a buffoon. Aww. Oh, what is this? Manchild loves everybody. Oh. He was wearing one of his t-shirts. I don't blame him. I'd hug somebody too if they were wearing one of my t-shirts. Ugh. Aww. Oh. Oh. Come on. Oh, isn't this adorable? It's so cute. Makes me want to puke. I think it's nice, personally. Yeah, well. We are just waiting the arrival of James Ford and John McGraw. There's that MMA pose by the Nomad. Now. Drew in the ring for the announcements. Still awaiting James Ford and John McGraw along with Cousin Otis. And that music only signifies one thing. The Red River Rebels. Your AON Tag Team Champions. You always see those scary figures from behind the curtains just before they step out. And they are just as scary after they step out of the curtains. And 
there they are, your tag team champions. Now we know when Drew gets back down here, he's going to be a little, uh, we won't say impartial, he's definitely going to be biased for these guys. Which is fine in my opinion if he wants that, but I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mess with these guys. I've been all over the forums giving these guys props. I may not always like what they say or do, I may not agree with what co how Cousin Otis and those boys keep those titles, but they are dominant. They are two of the toughest men in all or nothing wrestling. And of course in the forums, Project 13 got in their shots and I'm sitting there thinking, why would you want to mess with these two boys? Look, even the Nomad is smart enough to get behind them. Nomad just wants, or Manchild, he just wants to be friends with everybody. He doesn't know any better. Yeah, okay, I hear you, Nomad. Just. I have no idea where X got to. And the Jack is out here. Or as I like to call him, no man child left behind. He likes it when I say that. He's always smiling when I say it. Two guys who don't smile very often. Told you he was going to be biased. I expect nothing less. Drew, if you're smart, you're going to get out of that ring very quickly, like a girl. Once those boys get started, you don't want to be anywhere near them. There you go. Oh, yeah, grab the belt while you're there, too. Saves me from getting up. And the match is underway. You ready, Drew? Did you call me a girl? I would say nothing of the sort. No, 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 no. You think, wouldn't, I, would you? I think X-Men said that. Where is uh, tons of fun? I, you know, I'm surprised. The, the Jack is out here and he's not. Now off the ropes. You're not gonna overhead throw the man-child. Aw. See, the man-child just wants to be friends. You tried playing patty cake, gave him a bear hug. You sure that's not X underneath that mask? I'm not even 100% sure who's under that mask. But, you know, I've seen them both in the same place at the same time. It's not like Superman Clark Kent. I'm just glad he didn't try to hug me when I was giving the ring announcements. Here we are. We got two of the biggest men in the matchup in the ring right now. If there's anybody in AON who's going to match up with John McGraw's strength, it's probably going to be the man child. John McGraw is one tough. Yeah, I can't say it's a family show, but he's a tough guy. No question about it. You know, if you've been following the forums like I had, you know that. Oh, I've been seeing how you've been sucking up to the Red River Rebels. Oh, uh, it's not sucking up. No. It's giving the devil their due. No, giving it's not them... sucking up, is it? No, nope, I'm giving them credit where credit is due. Oh. <laughs> they are two of the toughest guys in this business today. That's it, McGraw. Take out the wheels. If you can't stand, he can't fight. Uh, you know, it's odd because John is usually used to being the big man in the matchup, and now he's finding somebody who can match him. Power for power, strength for strength, hit for hit. Misses that wild swing, and now he's... What was that? That's the tickle bug. That's the what? That's the tickle bug. Man child trying to make friends? You're not. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. You're not going to make friends with the Ribbles. And you're I'm not going to body send the man child. And now, of course, you know, the Nomad wants in the ring. Oh, please. Here it comes. It's choo choo time. What is this? That's interesting. He's using a man child as a weapon. Like, can you blame him? Look at the size of the man child. I'd use him as a weapon too. That's a. Oh! Yeah, that's the man child's weight. Man child is not a small man. And Nomad weighs in at 160. That's, you know, at least three people charging into you. I'm sorry. I like Marcus the Nomad Cage. Man child, he's a doofus. Just like X Man. Yeah, they like each other. 
I'll see you next man and man child hanging out backstage. Well, that's why it's tough to call this now. With uh, the nomad in the ring. Let's call it, that's a good move to take down the bigger man, uh, Mr. James Ford. Well, you know, James Ford is in the ring with one of the most consummate professionals in the MMA world. You know that, right? I learned a hard way to call him James Ford, by the way, not Jimmy Ford. I can call him Jimmy, because... That's a nice roll through. I call him Jimmy. Well... Friends of mine. That's fine. We're on Facebook. I'm just going to keep him as uh, James Ford, if you don't mind. And the Nomad is actually showing some good... Oh, never mind. I was going to say, he's showing some good wrestling, actually. Out of the way. No man, no question, he's the fastest guy in this matchup. He's the smallest guy in the matchup. He's the whitest guy in this matchup. Well, that's no question. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Man, that's like a train hitting you. The ring moved. Oh! oh man. Say the ring moved about three feet. Wow, forget about it. Spear! 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 Unbelievable. That's it. Oh, he's just toying with him now. Jimmy Ford, uh, or I'm sorry, James Ford. Yeah, watch your mouth. Wow! That's James. Actually, it's Mr. Ford to you. Double underhook into an elbow, one, two, and that was a nice move. James Ford is the more technical of the two. He's definitely the faster of the two, the more agile of the two. Now here comes the power. This guy is just brute strength, brute power, as I've said before. And he is taking on the smaller man in the matchup. Well, these guys are devastating. There's no doubt about it. I give him all the credit in the world. There's no question. And you know, McGraw today weighing in at about 283. He is one big guy and he is solid. What I'm curious about is, are we going to see a match between the Rebels and Project 13? I mean, I've, I've noticed the forums. Zach's not really happy with these guys. He says the titles are tainted, so it wouldn't even be about the titles. No, but it'd be an interesting matchup regardless. The, I would love to see it. The, the other question is, would you throw Cousin Otis into the mix? Would it be a six-man tag? Or would you, or, or who would you pick from the from Project 13 to go against the Red River Rebels? Well, if I was Project 13, I would definitely pick Shane Malice and the Ringmaster, Randall Fairway. Why? Because they would match up the best with these two guys. What do you got against Zach Rain? Nothing, but oh, wow! Oh my God! I think Shane matches up well with James Ford, and the Ringmaster matches up well with uh, John McGraw. I think it would be a great matchup that way. Of course. With Zach Green on the outside and Otis on the outside, it would be pretty much a uh, three-on-three match. Yeah. And now he's got, looks like he's about ready to twist up the Nomad like a pretzel. That match would be too tough for me to call. And, well, instead of a pretzel, they're gonna make a wish, it looks like. Yep. Amazing, I mean, just hey, guys, great action. Yeah, what? I'm here. You were missing? Hey, am I late? I, you kinda. In, what's going on? We're in the middle of a match. We're in the middle of a match right oh, now. Well, let's watch it. I didn't even know you were gone. Or nothing. No question about it. They're what? The top tag team. Yes, that's right. You use the emphasis on the word "the" when you talk about these gentlemen. I've been all informed. You said it. You call it sucking up. I call it giving credit. These guys are. I've been giving credit to these guys since day one. It seems like you just suddenly jumped on the bandwagon. Well, I've been giving them credit. I just don't always agree with what they say or do. You know, my first, one of my first meetings with Cousin Otis, he calls me Mike Adamly backstage. So I'm not really a big fan of his, but... You're not Mike Adamly? No, I am Mike Edwards, the AON Rundown host. Um, I'm the host of the show. I was here longer. And now Marcus mounting a comeback against the bigger man. I don't know who Begging him. You were X Man. Big backhand. That was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> this guy doesn't know anything about MMA wrestling. All or MMA fighting. All McGraw. What do you knows mean? As in who? McG oh, McGraw. McGraw. He has nothing of MMA. All he knows is pound you. That's it. It's ground and pound. It's pure strength. Pure, look at that. Just like that. It's not really a fancy move. That's just driving his own shoulder into the back of the Nomad. No, and the man shot in the make Get him out of there, ref. Get him out of there. And now, goof. Illegal tag. What are you talking about? Yeah. I Get know. him out of there, I ref. I know you didn't Come on. see it. Blah blah blah. What are you talking about? Not seeing something. Yeah. I'm get, not the, I'm, get the man child out of there. And now they're. What the heck you're talking about? Just double teaming the nomad. All the man child's really doing is he's just hurting his. Well, they must have tagged legally, otherwise he wouldn't have been in there. Uh, yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Sorry discussing these things on air with you guys. I never win. Never argue with an idiot. The people what? watching can never tell the difference. What guys? Do I have a frog on my shoulder? No, you an X-Man. 
He's and not now, here. And now, distracting the ref, John McGraw choking out the Nomad. Of course, Nomad's used to being choked out. He's that is an a, MMA fighter. Well, I mean, come on. That's, that's you got to admit. That's, you can't tap out if he chokes you out. Oh. Um, Go. And now, the man shot in this match. And the referee didn't see the tag. <laughs> there was a tag, but the referee didn't see it. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's doing the right thing. And now, a full Nelson, a couple knees to the midsection. This is what James McGraw does, or James Ford does very well. He just... Do you even know who you're talking about? I'm talking about the Rebels. Right. Because they're bad... Oh no! And that's, that was that throw he tried on the man child. That's Mr. James Ford. You're not gonna pin the nomad like that. I can introduce you to them. I've met them already. Well. I'd rather just, you know, I'm just gonna stay out of their way. They are just as scary backstage as they are in the ring. You ever been to the outhouse? Nope. And I don't intend on going. It's. Uh oh. Watch this. Oh! oh. Nice reversal! What I, was that? I thought the Nomad was going for a ride, but he came down into a double DDT. Give the Nomad credit for that one. Learned that in MMA fighting school. I don't think they teach you that kind of stuff in uh, MMA. Well, how would you know? I've done a little research. I've talked to the Nomad a couple you ever times. Been, you ever been to an MMA fighting school? No, but uh, Nomad. No, told exactly. Me all about it. He's told me all about it. Well, you know, that's probably where he learned it from. Exactly. You can take it to the bank then. And now, Nomad. Desperately need the Come on, tag. Boys. Get up. Get up, boys. Referee in good position. No man, there it is. Oh. He makes the tag. And in comes the big man. Head jump to one, head jump to two. Falls up with the third one. And just runs over James Ford. Come on. And this man is very fresh. He's been out of the match for a while. And now, yeah, here we go. Rebel double team. I don't think it's going to phase the big man, though. Well, I don't see Ben telling him to get out of the ring, so he's going to let it go. Uh-oh. Oh. Can you blame him? Would you want to get in the way of the Rebels? No, absolutely okay. not. Wow, big choke slam on John McGraw. That was impressive. I go to the outhouse. They call it the outhouse. And have a couple of beers with him. I'm not going to fight for the last What's one this? of these What's guys. This? Oh, my oh. God. What a move. That was impressive. Kind of a... Uh, a merry-go-round, if you will. Here it comes. We've seen this move before. Oh. They call this the teeter-totter. Teeter. The, the teeter-totter? Really? Two. They were going to go a seesaw, but teeter-totter sounds so much more professional. Shut up, Edwards. And now, on the outside battling out, no oh, in the ring with James Ford. What's Manchild doing outside the ring? He's taking it to uh, John McGraw. Nomad is setting up. Is he setting up? Really? Roll cage? Nope. Oh, wait a second. What's Otis got? He's got the Game Boy. <laughs> I was wondering what he was doing over here. He, McGraw has a chain in his hand. Does that thing seem to still work? Is it what? And, is what? I, I, now, I didn't see. The chain in his hand. The bench out down at ringside. And there's a... It looks like a, a, a triangle choke. Oh, man. Right to the head of... Man, there's a triangle choke in the ring. He may get... James Ford to tap out here. He's not going to tap. He's not going to tap. And oh, here comes John. Big boot to the side <laughs> of the head of the Nomad. I don't know how the Nomad way, got John. up after that one. That's the way, John. I don't understand how he's still standing after that kick to the head. Uh-oh. Forget about it. Yeah, he's not standing now. This is it. I believe oh, he calls oh, out oh. the bear trap. One, two, three. That's I call, it. I call it painful. I call it a win. I gotta go introduce the champs now. Yeah, you go ahead. Nope, I guess Otis is gonna do it for you. <laughs> I like to throw a curveball every now and again. I might turn the mic over to Cousin Otis. Like Otis likes to do, he rubs it in his face. <laughs> and that is why he they're the most dominant team. He doesn't have a face, it's a mask. Oh, well, there's a face on the mask. Goofy face. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, now he's going to get scolding from his parents. What? All or Nothing Wrestling would like to take this time to thank our sponsors for their continued support.
The all-new and improved GoTime Sports Performance Training Center is the area's elite training facility. GoTime Sports Performance offers MMA training in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, boxing, Judo, kickboxing, and Muay Thai with Team Dignan Broomba in the cage. GoTime also offers sports conditioning. Regardless of age and whether it's a single athlete or an entire team, we can make you faster, better, and stronger. Come see for yourself. Stop out at the all-new and improved GoTime Sports Performance beside Park Audio just past Altoona's Walmart, 693-9111. If you're ready for a real challenge, it's GoTime. I've never seen Bam Bam do that. Well, what I was saying earlier to X is, one time I actually agree with him. I don't like Ooh. the attitude that Bam Bam has shown us. Like the attitude we're getting here <laughs> he from Norway? He just on Cousin Otis. I still haven't cleaned that shirt. I'll try to get it clean. It doesn't feel right since you took that from me. I don't like people that spit on I'm sure you don't. And Bam Bam just hammered away at Big John McGraw. He's going to have to. That's chop him down like a tree. I don't know that's bravery or stupidity. Dude. Big old Redwood. Well, he's got to do what he's got to do to get this big man down. Right now, he's just all, it's just a blatant choke right there. You know, on rest. As far as I'm concerned, I don't care. This is the cartel, this is the empire. Let them beat the crap out of each other. You got Cousin Otis, AC Norway, and... Cousin Otis and KFC Norway. I think they're exchanging chicken recipes. I don't know. Got three clowns out there. Well, it's just he wants the Red River Rebel shampoo for his uh, secret recipe. Also makes a great gravy. That's a dud. Yes, it does. Uh, I think Otis is sharing his recipe for Jack Chicken. Jack Chicken? Jerk yes. chicken. That's what you make. Jerk. Where did that come from? So All right, come on so now. Funny. Back to okay, the action yeah, I'm here. Sorry, it is a new year. John McGraw now uh, getting the upper hand against Bam Bam Hassel. Bam. Uh, one, John. It looks like Bam having a little bit of a back problem there. One, you can take him, John. There you go. I impact him. Oh, boom! Oh, yeah, big side slam. Look at how effortlessly he held Bam Bam up there for a while before Look at dropping him. Look at the size of the man. I mean, it, the guy looks like he, like he works at a butcher shop all day, pounding on the you know, meat and hanging from the hooks. I mean, just Meat hanging from the hooks? Like Rocky. Oh, thank you. I'm glad somebody got it. I, I got that, it. What's, what's the guy with the deformed face have to do with it? Series. Not that rocky, you and idiot. Bam Bam's in trouble. Come on, John, get him. There you go. He's got Bam tied up in the corner. And the referee shoots you know, him into the other corner. The referee not really backing up John McGraw, but can you blame him? No. Oh, oh, oh man. Misses. There you go. Come on, Bam. You can got it. Take him down, Bam. What? Okay, now wait a minute. Five seconds ago, you're going, come on, John. Now you're going, come on, Bam. Because I don't care who wins. He doesn't care who wins. Well, what, do you? Actually, yeah, I'd like yes, to see. Do you? I'd actually like to see. John, do you, John McGraw, take out Bam Bam? You made me upset last month. I would like to see that as well. I mean, come on, Mike. You got to be rooting more for. There was a two count. You got to be rooting more for uh, the Empire and the Rebels over the cartel. I mean, the cartel were the ones that kidnapped you. Yeah, yeah. I got a little bit more loyalty towards them, but still, I mean, if they beat each other up, ooh, I can't really be that disappointed. He's chopping them down. He's a giant redwood tree. Bam Bam. Using those. Oh, oh well, man, what kicked us out of the head? Wow. Like I've always said uh, and always ripped off from the Karate Kid, take out the leg. Guy can't stand, he can't fight. Sweep the leg. Oh, come on, what, what's what more? is KFC doing here? Well, He's trying to give. I think he tried to give a, a drumstick to the ref. Yeah. That's why he wears white. It's a ni no. nice suit, but. Yeah. It'd be nice. Oh, oh man, John oh, oh, drop kick. Beautiful baseball slot there. What do you think about that, Bam Bam Hassel? John McGraw yeah. showing us some, uh... Yeah, that's something that Bam user uses. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Wow. There's no pads or no mats anywhere at ringside. That's just... There never will be. That's just straight carpet right there, and he just stomped them. And now, I uh, take him over to our new guardrails. Yes. I got a pleasure. Well, these are very nice. They made their debut about the same time. Should we give Bill a shout-out? Who? No. Oh, yeah. They did a nice yeah, job yeah, on this. And now... Thank you, Bill. Bam Bam's in control. Can't say yeah. the same for uh -oh. Martin. Uh -oh. He's going. Look like he's oh. that sharp. Oh, and he powers that point. Powered out of that one. And if you're Drew Shannon, you would call that the Lariat. Shut up, X. You know that was X is said, and I was being nice this time. I know. Thank you. Uh oh. He's got him up. Oh, Drew, you don't mess with. Oh. Man, he nice a, maneuver there by the big guy. Called that one. Yeah, sending Bam Bam. That's gonna be. I could be it there. Two and oh, oh, we pulled, pulled him up. up. I don't know how smart that is. That's not smart. Bam Bam has with one tough competitor. Well, I mean, he may be smaller than than you, John, but I mean, trust me, he's got a lot of power. Yeah, Bam Bam doesn't have doesn't know the word quit. 
Partially because it's not in his language. Well, there's a lot of other words he doesn't know either. Like, uh, there's, there are many. French. You know, jaw jack with cut. Oh, this is on the Blow ring apron. Now. I don't know if this is a wise thing. Wait a second. AC Norway. AC Norway just. He just picked his pocket. He stole his wallet. He no, he stole the chain. Oh! He stole the chain from Otis. No, wait a second. Now Bam Bam's going to use that chain. Referee's distracted. No, no, this does not no, 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 me. wait. This is a cartel. Wait, he just tossed it to oh. John McGraw. And Classic. Oh my goodness, that reminded me of the late Eddie Guerrero. I was just going to say. I think we, and he's just disqualified John oh, wait, McGraw. Wait, 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 wait. McGraw, be careful. Yeah, go ahead and hit him, McGraw. That'd be nice. Well, they just stole a victory here by disqualification. I don't blame John McGraw for being mad. I really don't blame him for being upset in this matchup. Unbelievable. I mean, I, I will give Bam Bam Hassel credit. That was a smart move. But I, Not really. You just got the you ire just, of this big man. You just, yeah, exactly. You just yeah. raised the ire of big John McGraw. He is not happy You won't right hear me now. say this too often, but Otis, you have every right to be mad at that. But, guys, that was a very, very, very smart idea by Bam Bam. Was it? What happens if he gets a hold of him later? No, well, just have, I can't wait to see I that. I can't match. wait to see that either. Might not even be a match. Might be on 2011. Park. Here we go. Your winner, Big John McGraw. Or That's Bam Bam Hassel. That eye is I, I'm confused. Drew, you're always confused. After this? No, nobody's watching this anyways. Who the hell cares how I dress? I watch it. Watch. I watch. Oh, we, do, we apparently don't count. Martin watches. Cass Edison watches. How do you think he finds you guys for saying Project 13? All that doesn't things? happen anymore. You just, that's that, I mean, you just said it. I'm allowed to. Send you to post. I thought we were just getting Frank, away. you watch the AOM rundown. I, thought we were I breaking, am the AOM. I thought we were breaking kayfabe. You and I are like buddies. What's, what's, what's K and Fabe have to do about this? Just I because haven't. lesbians watch this show. No, whatever. Uh, do you mind closing the show? I, can't I don't know. Maybe a little thing called radio. What? Just listen. You know? This is what it says here. Hi. That's one of my radio... Oh, that's not her. No. I'm that's my shopping it. list. Just close the show, you idiot. It. Well, tune in next week. On that tune in next week for another episode of the AO and Rundown. If you love this episode, you're going to love next week's. And if you hated this one, off. Amen for AON. Actually, I do know someone who could use those. <laughs>